probably the finest thing I did, the most courteous thing I did in traffic happened yesterday. But, <laughs> but I'm not sure how, how much credit I should get. Because I'm downtown Denver, and I see this old guy trying to get into his car, and traffic is whizzing by on a busy street, and he's got a walker. And so he has to get out into the traffic to be able to get over to the driver's side of his car. But this guy is slow, he's got a walker. Um, you know, with two hands, he moves the walker, and she's up and moves while well, the traffic's going by. So I decided, you know, before he got too far out in traffic, I went by, and you know, because he was just coming around the front of his car. But then I said, you know what, maybe I'll take his spot, I'll wait, it's kind of busy. So I pull over and kind of block the traffic in that lane, and this guy can make his way. Well, lo and behold, he was parked in a handicapped spot. So, <laughs> but when I got, but when I went by him, he sort of waved at me, and you could see how, you know, how appreciative he was that I had blocked traffic for him so that he could go around the car and get into his, uh, and get into a spot. And my first, and I felt a little guilty because my first impulse when I saw him round in the bend was, I better get by this guy before, <laughs> before he gets out into traffic. <laughs> and then I thought I'd get his spot. <laughs> So I waited and watched the whole, the whole thing. <laughs> yeah, well, my experience with handicapped parking was I saw a woman pull into a handicapped place, into a parking spot, and I actually said to her, it's occurred to me in the past, because I think that's a, a dreadful thing when you see someone taking a handicapped spot. And so I said, this is a handicapped parking space. I got up, I mustered up my courage to say to this woman as a citizen, that's a handicapped spot. And she says, I know, and she gets, she gets out with a limp. <laughs>